Hi Scorpio, welcome to your uh, Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued subby, you know I love you for it. Happy damn birthday to you. If you are celebrating this week, my dear Scorpio person, um, remember to fill the day of your solar return with a little bit of everything that you want this entire year to house for you so this next 12 months ahead what do you want right if if you possibly can get out go and see somebody or some people that you love uh, do something nice for yourself pamper yourself if you can't do any of these things create a vision board of the things that you want this next 12 months to have for for you spend time visualizing the things that you're going to do and how you're going to feel when you're doing those amazing things when everything finally opens up in 2021 um you know set that intention utilize that vibration the sun is in your sign so you utilize that vitality for your um key to the week you have the death card right this is your your card so don't freak out don't panic <laughs> this is your card right so you show up absolutely as yourself this is could be a week where you feel more like yourself than you have maybe all year right so utilize that to your advantage as well remember with the death card you're always presented with a choice to allow something to perish or to let it keep going and do what a lot of fixed signs tend to do in fact all of us do at some point which is flog a dead horse if you know something is coming to an end or it is over let it go like whatever it is you guys tend to be a little bit better than that um, with that because you know you even though you're fixed water you are you know you are water so you've got that kind of energy um, and also when a Scorpio's done oh man they're done so <laughs> you know you're using you can use this better than most for your actions and options this week you have the Emperor right so this is powerful this is about you stepping into your own power and check this out the death card is number 13. One of three gives you four. The number, the emperor is the number four. So this is the two aspects or the dual sides of your nature. Very interesting because your ruler, your traditional ruler Mars has gone direct in its own sign of Aries and the sun is currently in the sign of Scorpio. So really, really interesting stuff there. Use this to the best of your advantage. This is gonna see you putting your best foot forward. It's gonna see you really stepping into your power this week. This is speaking your mind, speaking your truth, standing your ground, or and also for a lot of you, this could be where you draw some kind of a line in the sand. Maybe this is you putting somebody in their place. Maybe it is you deciding that uh, a certain connection doesn't work for you, or maybe it's just changing your mind about something. And it's kind of like with the Emperor card, it is very much that kind of energy of let my yes mean yes, and my no mean no. When I say yes, I'm in. When I say no, I'm out. Done. For your communications and conversations, you've got the sun card. Uh, 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 uh. I love this, right? I really love this for you guys because it's about time you had some good news. And good news will come, for, come to you this week. I actually feel like this is either going to come from a boss or somebody that you work with. I feel like in a lot of ways as well, the sun card blesses your communication. So what it gives you is an easier week. You can get your point across. You'll be able to speak your truth. And not only will you be able to be heard but you will come across in a way where people are like actually you know what I'm gonna you, you, do you know what I mean like you're received in the best possible way I like this because it's easy communication for your money and materials you've got the seven of cups hey listen right with the current situation and the fact that it is your birthday you can afford to buy yourself something nice you can afford to be a little bit frivolous with your money um what i will say to you is if you're gonna be frivolous this week right you've got the sun card there so it lightens everything but if you're gonna be frivolous this week i would do it for small things rather than things that are going to be long-term financial commitments that's the better use of your energy uh, that's a better use of your finances this week um, for your uh, home and environment seven of cups this week you could literally just be going through the place with a black bag like and saying right this needs to go this needs to go I've got too much of that too many of those um, just remember not to throw the baby out with the bath water um, but this week you could you, you know it could really be highlighted to you maybe it's old clothes or old trinkets it's kind of like there's something that just feels 
uncomfortable to you, so you're gonna start removing things from your space. When it comes to your physical health and vitality, your seven of cups is, uh, it tends to be like the hormones. So this would be a week, and again, I'm not a doctor, I can't give you medical advice, but it tends to be your hormones. This would be a week to get those in check if you know you've got something of that nature. And if something feels out of whack, maybe it's time to get checked out in that, you know, in that department, let's say. For your love and relations, you have the lover's card right underneath the sun. This is really nice. So for those of you that are single, right, it does suggest that as one door closes, another one shall open. And I say that because you've got the death card, you've got the sun card, and you've got the lovers. I kind of feel like as one con connection, excuse me, as one connection is closing and being closed off and ending, another one's gonna come in. So this could be somebody that you, maybe somebody that you already know or somebody that's already in the picture, but it just starts to become more solid, um, you know, as you're phasing something or someone else out. Um, I think it's gonna be more of a slow burn though. It's not gonna be like a boom, it's an event. For those of you that are partnered or in relationships, you've got the lover's card right underneath the sun card. I think things are gonna be much easier when it comes to the relationship this week. I think they're just gonna be really good. I think you could also be as well. You might find that this is a week where you and your partner are making plans to do something together, but it's gonna take you to revise what some of your separate plans are. Because there's something here where it suggests where maybe they're compatible plans but there's something about your current schedules that doesn't quite fit in um, so you're having to wrangle some of that stuff uh, around with that said i wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff have a fantastic week let me know in the comments how it shapes up take care and i'll see you soon